All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Me here talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. Uh, sad story about uh, Eddie Van Halen's former guitar tech, Tom Weber. This story has been showing up on a few of my feeds from various places. Um, apparently Tom Weber could lose his home and a GoFundMe page has been set up for Tom Weber, who was Eddie Van Halen's guitar tech back in 2015, also back in 2007. Uh, a nonprofit group called Roadie Care has started a fundraiser on Tom's behalf. Now, <laughs> my first reaction is, okay, there's no money in the Van Halen coffers, uh, the Van Halen estate to help this guy, David Lee Roth, anybody? Look, I know a lot of these guys are running on fumes because they haven't been able to tour. Um, Tom was highly in demand, Tom Weber, not just for uh, his work with Eddie Van Halen, but with other musicians. Uh, he was slated to go out with uh, Reba McIntyre, I think, last year, and also the big stadium tour with Poison, Motley Crue, Joan Jett, Def Leppard. I mean, that was supposed to be a big deal. And according to Weber, he was supposed to make about $200,000, although his family uh, wasn't going to see him. You know, I've had conversations with other literal rock stars, guys who front brand name rock bands. And they've told me that it's great for the year that they go out on tour, but that money that they make in that one year has to kind of keep them going for as many years as needed because a lot of times the band doesn't tour every year or you've got people who are a little reluctant to tour. They're getting a bit older and they don't need to tour. But there are guys in these bands that I know who need to tour. Okay, in order to make ends meet, in order to keep a roof over their head. Um, Tom's business, which was a guitar repair shop, was forced out of one building. He had to move to another building and he's losing money hand over fist because nobody is going out because everybody is afraid and the government has told everybody what you can and can't do. Um, no potential work for Tom uh, in the foreseeable future. And this, again, goes into that narrative on how it just seems to never end. It just, you know, you hear some gigs are booked, unless you're going to Idaho or South Dakota or Florida, there are a few gigs here and there. You know, but there isn't like widespread opportunity for uh, musicians in general, guitar techs. And what's troubling about this is here's another guy who's a blue collar guy who helps make someone else's life better, who, who makes so-and-so a better guitar player. Not in the case maybe of uh, Eddie Van Halen, but the point is a guitar tech is really important. It's like the organizing principle upon which you do your live show. Your setup, how is your setup? Is your setup the way you want it? You rely on that person, you know, kind of like putting out all the right stuff in the right order so you can find it, so you get, then can do your job effectively. Guitar techs are really important and they know how the artist wants things done. So a guy like Tom Weber was important in making Eddie Van Halen, not necessarily a better guitarist, but a more organized and prepared performer for his live shows. Uh, it, again, it's a little perplexing that the industry itself, uh, people who have money still, people who are telling everybody, ah, oh, don't worry about this, we can go on like this forever. Those are the people that have lots of money or they're making money still via their catalog or whatever it is who couldn't drop this guy 
couple of, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand, what he would have made, you know, just to sustain him for a year or two. Maybe that's more than he needs. I don't know. But the fact that he has a GoFundMe page, it, it's like when you run out of options, that's when you use GoFundMe. All right. And uh, Eddie Van Halen's guitar tech probably should be taken care of. Uh, and a number of other musicians, high profile musicians and their guitar techs obviously should be taken care of. Um, when I say high profile musicians, I mean guys who are also running on fumes because every couple of years they're expecting to go out on tour. And when they don't, that's another year without income. And, you know, for a lot of these, you know, uh, classic rockers, I'm sure things are getting tough. So in any event, I just find it a little bit odd that, you know, everybody's talking about Eddie Van Halen, and I understand that. We just lost Eddie, but Tom Weber is a guy who, you know, was respected by Ed and should be taken care of. Just because he's not lead vocalist or, you know, on the marquee doesn't mean he's any less important to how that show actually goes off. In any event, I figured I'd bring that to folks' attention and maybe somebody out there will look into helping out Tom Weber, um, who right now is in some pretty desperate straits.